Hi, I'm Big Dave. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I am the sit-down chef. The reason I am the sit-down chef is after breaking my knee last year. I spent so long in a wheelchair, I wasn't able to stand for very long. However, this doesn't stop me loving cooking. So, today's my first uh, YouTube video. Obviously, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm going to do for you the perfect steak. That's the one thing that everybody's always looking for. And of course, I want to get noticed. So, the perfect steak seems like the perfect place to start. Firstly, when you buy your steak, don't go to the supermarket. Supermarket steak is just that. It's supermarket steak. Go to your butcher. And if you really enjoy your steak, ask me for a double steak. As you see, it's about an inch and a half thick. There, this is a sirloin. It's nicely marbled. This is going to come out absolutely fantastic. The secret to the um, perfect steak is, first of all, make sure you keep it out of the fridge for at least an hour before cooking it. Secondly, dry the steak. Give a bit of a patter. Make sure you get all the moisture out that you possibly can. And underneath. There we go. As you can see there, I love the meat is beautifully dry. That stops sending that silly condensation when it goes. Oil your steak. Get it all rubbed in there. They not miss any of this. Take it over. They're exactly the same on the other side. Okay, so once you've got your steak oil, your hands will be washed. Check your pan. You really don't want to put the steak into a pan until it really is starting to smoke hot. Right, next stage, season your steak now. Don't season at the end. And don't be shy. If you over salt it, you ain't going to cook it out. You're not going to hurt anything. There we go, look at that beautiful, beautiful bit of steak. As I say, get a bit of salt, sea salt on there. Okay, now yes, you can hear my pan is starting to sizzle away beautifully. I'm now going to put in the steak. There we go. In he goes. Right. My uh, upcoming videos will include. Uh, food from Greece. I'm quite fond of Greek cooking and most will consist of the BIR curries, the British Indian restaurant curries. Um, yes, we all know how to cook curry, but we all long for that taste yeah, from the British Indian restaurants, which is not the taste that Asian people have in their homes. It's a taste designed for us and that's why we long for it. After a lot of research, and uh, trial and error, I can now do at least half a dozen uh, British Indian curries, including a beautiful red chicken tikka masala, um, rather than the orange one, that always seems a bit more spicy. Um, Lambuna, chicken buna, uh, duffy arches, and madras, and uh, more to come as well, uh, including. The first thing I will do is show you how to make a curry base gravy which is used in all Indian restaurants as the base of any curry and which is why curries are very fast to do once you've got that made. Okay, I can see we're two and a half minutes in now, just another minute to go for this side. I'm going to flip it over. Sizzling the way beautifully there. Okay, so we turn six minutes let's turn it over. And over we go. Lucky lovely there. Another thing that's very, very, very important, 
some chefs don't agree with it as uh, they think you should turn the steak several times to speed up the cooking. I believe turn the steak once and once only and you enhance the best flavours. So, six minutes past three. Now I'm going to add to seven actually. So I think I'm going to add this as a cup to ten past. There we go, ten past. And here's your secret ingredients. One for the steak. And one for the pan of pure butter. And that's uh, finally that's done. So the next important thing is to rest your steak. If you don't rest it, then the fibres in the steak are giving too much. And all you're going to do with the knife is rip it. When you rest it, the fibres tighten back up. Uh, so give it a spoil, it will stay nice and hot. This is a good time now to go and finish off whatever else you'll be doing. Uh, if you're having chips with your steak, let's face that's a British favourite. Now would be a good time to put your chips in and put your mushrooms on. Uh, use a good chestnut mushroom and don't be afraid to chuck this on the top. That's very good stuff. So we're going to pause the video, come back in 10 minutes time when the steak is rested. Okay, so the steak's been resting now for just under 10 minutes. Let's take it out and have a look. See what we've got. What beautiful steak juices there, which will be nice and gravy. Only today is not a family meal. It's just a YouTube video. But of course, me and the chef and anybody that's around will get to uh, have a little try, including my cats. So there you go, on a steak that size, it's just blushing beautifully there in the middle. Uh, I think it's three and a half minutes on the first side, three minutes on the second side, 30 seconds there with some butter on the top. And let me see how it is. Are you ready? Mm. 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 Perfect. Fantastic. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe, and I'll be uploading more videos shortly.